Okay. Hello! Someone wants in, but she doesn't really want in. She, she actually just wants her bed to be put out there. So, one second and I'll do that for her. <laughs> so, uh, she has her pillow out there, but uh, she's still going. <laughs> So anyway, happy International Beaver Day. Uh, I poke some beavers, as you'll see. So, on to the video. <laughs> and, um, what you're hearing now is the beginnings of first crack. Is what it's called, first crack. It's when the, the, the beans heat up enough that the moisture that's left inside starts to boil. Mm -hmm. Much like popcorn, right? Okay. It up, the popcorn pops, it's because the water has reached boiling temperature. And so that's what's happening right now. First crack is the beans keep heating up. Eventually, it gets hot enough for the oils in the beans to start to boil. Okay. And that's called second crack when that happens. And first, first crack sounds kind of like popcorn, right? Mm -hmm. Like this, pop, 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 pop. And then when you get to second crack, it sounds more like rice krispies. It's like. And then the third crack is when you actually drink it. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so usually I pull them off just when you're starting to reach that. Mm. It's just starting to. So it's, I go for kind of a lighter roast. Yeah. Some people like them really dark and oily. Mm -hmm. I prefer a dark roast, but I want to see what you normally do. I feel like if you're roasting too dark, you're losing a lot of the flavors of the beans. Mm. I know, I just think it gets more mellow. Is that what, the, the flavor for my palate gets more mellow, and that's the reason why I prefer it. It's kind of more chocolatey. It's like a softer, not as sharp flavor to me. I think we're getting close. Those look, the color difference. Can you hold the bag up? Yeah, you can yeah. see this is when I started, they were definitely green, green, green. Mm. And they go from kind of green through tan to brown, and then as you keep going, they'll get to be almost black. Mm -hmm. so if you let them keep going and don't pull them out of there, eventually they'll light on fire. <laughs> if that Woo! happens, you've gone too far. <laughs> Just start yelling, too far! Too far! And then... <laughs> I unplug it and hope for the best. You can start to hear it sounds more like rice crispy now. Yeah. That's second crack. So that's the oils are starting to... And, and the reason it's such a tiny little, instead of a, like a big pop, mm -hmm. it's, there's, if you look at the beans, you'll see tiny little chips coming off the sides of the beans. Oh yeah, I can see that. So there's yeah, where I that. normally stop, right there. And then... Oh, they let them smoke out out here. And then I kind of try to cool them a little bit. That's pretty satisfying to watch. <laughs> and you can, I mean, you can smell what they smell like. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's still some chaff in here, too. Yeah. I've never heard of this before. Just like, I've heard people roasting on beans, but not with a popcorn maker. That's yeah, well, there was a different. company. Here's the deal. <laughs> There's a company that had a patent on using a hot air popper to roast beans. Okay. And I think the patent just was up very recently, which mm -hmm. is why you couldn't, you couldn't, I mean, nobody could advertise, oh, you can also use roast okay. beans in my popcorn popper because it was a patented <laughs> technology. You weren't, you weren't supposed to do it. Maybe I'll do one more batch. Yeah, that's only, that might be, if we grind that up, that might be, what, four things of coffee. Do you only do... Yeah, well I'll show you how to make coffee too. So yeah, I want to try that that machine you do. The mocha thing, mocha pot. Mm -hmm. You can give it a stir at the beginning so it stirs. Yeah, so see spins. at the very beginning, it's the beans are too heavy, they don't spin. So you have to uh, um, 
get enough of the water out of them so they're light enough so that they can spin around. So that's what they're doing right now, they're spinning. When I first poured them in, they wouldn't spin. Because yeah. Let me change angle here. So the chaff fly off. It's like little butterflies. It actually kind of flies, flows like, you know those little moths that you can get in your kitchen? Like we used to get yeah. when I was a kid, but I haven't seen them in years. But they kind of fly like that. And they kind of flip around. See, but they go pretty fast from green yeah, to that's, tan. Yeah. I'm really surprised. So that's cool though. So you were like, you just like hack it on the internet. Like, I need to roast my own beans. Oh, yeah, no, there's whole <laughs> communities out there about coffee geeks who, uh, and there's, uh, you know, whole communities out there where you can find to buy green beans because people are hobbyists mm -hmm. or people who are buyers for big coffee companies are uh -huh. also hobbyists themselves, so they have access so they can buy, you know, whole bags of beans as they come into the country. Yeah, and or buy them split them out. And, right, and then divide them up. And... Oh, there we go. First crack, right? Yep, yeah, that's first crack. Pop, 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 pop. Process goes. You do this when it's like in the 90s, it heats up and yeah. you know, I mean, you know, like two minutes. There's a poor suffering dog in the sun. Oh, oh see how deaf it was so hard to keep her head up, she had to plop it back down. <laughs> Brazil Oberon. This, these are older beans. I should get. I should drink these up or get rid of them. Well, I'd say drink them up because yeah. Chiapas from southern Mexico, Sumatra, Rwanda. This is more of those. Old. Or or trade. You know, roast them and trade with your neighbors for liquor or something. Yeah. Or toilet paper. And actually, this this mix is about fifty percent decaf Colombian. Mixed with some of all the rest of them. <laughs> so it's a half calf kind of thing. Yeah. I... So I can drink twice as much coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can finally drink coffee again since I have it for so long. It just makes me feel like I'm going to die when I drink it if, it if it's too strong. My grinder. So warm. You can taste one if you want to. It tastes like... Mm. Which one? Oh, that one was very bitter. Get a dark one. Ooh. Yeah, and if you're doing this the right way, instead of doing it the way Ooh, I do, where crispy. I like blend them all together and then roast them all at once, mm -hmm. what you ought to do is you ought to roast each separately so you can get them to the roast you want and then blend them together afterwards. But I'm lazy and. Well, oh, that is delicious. Oh, I'm probably not getting the maximum flavor I could mm. out of these. That's all the caffeine I need today, not this one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Coffee. Go with your gut. I kind of think I did 15 grams in this little six cup. Mocha pot, I think. I'm excited to find out how to use this. But it's been so long, I could be full, completely full of shit. <laughs> I guess I'll be able to tell if I pour it in there and it seems right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's turn this to 15. Grind! Rise and grind! up to the bottom of this little release valve. That's the overpressure valve, so that okay. if it gets clogged up, it won't explode. It's 
Somewhere around there. And some coffee snobs have just like lost their mind because you use sink water, well, right? Probably. <laughs> and then get this stuff out of the shop because it's in the way. Put the coffee in this thing. Does it seem like the right amount? Maybe. That looks right. Man, that smells good. Yeah, it does. Oh my fucking god. Mm. Um, pardon my cursing. <laughs> you can cuss on my channel, my dude. I can cuss on your channel? Fuck yeah. Sweet! So they have these in Europe. I told Brian this, I'm gonna tell you guys this. They have these in Europe at all the places that my mom and I stayed for our trip. And I couldn't figure out how to get coffee out of them. So we ended up having to get like, uh, it was kind of semi-instant coffee. Did I tell you about that? No. They were like a little, they were like some shape kind of like this chamber here. And you set them on top of your coffee pot and then poured your hot water over. Oh. So they were kind of like a pour over. Yeah. But they were in like a package with, with a certain amount of them in like there. Like the little curry cubes or whatever mm. for those Insta-machines? Well, no. Like, just, it was shaped just like this, but the same size as the coffee cup top. Huh. And it already had pre-packaged coffee in it. And it came in a pack of ten of them. And they were like disposable things. So we found we could get one and a half cups out of them. So then we were combined. We would save the first one. And then the second one. And then we could have our three cups because the, thir the third one would be two combined together because they would pour through each other. So, we wait till it boils? So yeah, what will happen then is when the stuff in the bottom boils, it will push through the coffee. The water up through the coffee okay. and come out in the top chamber. Cuz we were up with percolators. I would be able to figure out a percolator, percolator no problem, but I didn't I've never seen this version before that, so. And this is a, a 6 cup, which really means 6 cups. 6 1 ounce. Okay. Espresso shots. Mm. It is. Mm -hmm. it makes pretty strong coffee. It's not espresso because espresso uses higher pressure to force the water through the beans and that kind of stuff. But it comes out pretty strong. So what I usually do is put about three shots in a cup and fill it with hot water. So that's why I've got the tea kettle mm -hmm. tea kettle. started. Tea kettle so cute. I have a silvery one at my house. I haven't used it. Well, I used it silvery. It's all silver. Here's this cute and all red. And then we wait. <laughs> yes, we're watching the damn pot. See, give me liberties or give me death. This is it's a go uh, joke. <laughs> that, that, I think that was the um, <laughs> the motto of the last American Go Congress, wherever they mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wherever they had it. It was kind of a pirate theme. You know? Whatever. Whoa! Oh goodness! <laughs> There's shit's happening in there. <laughs> Did it get you? It's blurred down on the side over here, but I can hear it. Let's see if I get close enough, you guys can hear. It. So it has to have it lid closed, of course, to hit the top of it and well, come was, back down into the chamber. I thought I would. Uh, Open the lid at the beginning and right. see it first start to come out, but I didn't find that right. Oh, there's the whistling. That's like a really satisfying sound. Kind of sounds like a percolator. Yeah, that's probably why I love it so much. That's great. I grew up with percolators with Grandpa, and percolated coffee is tasty. Still coming through. But it's. Look. Take a gander. Coffee. It slurped again. <laughs> Is it about half of it? Yeah. That's enough. The burger's probably still pretty hot. Mm. Gotta leave room for cream. Heavy cream. Heavy, heavy cream. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. You have a big shadow. Yeah, I'm calling you fat. What? You're blocking the light. <laughs> so big, I blotted out the sun. <laughs> I put quite a bit in there. Mm -hmm. I love how it, the heavy cream does its own mini swirls. It does. So pretty. Oh, yum. Well, that smells delightful. I'm definitely having a sip or two of that. You can have as many sips of that as you feel is appropriate. <laughs> I'll put the water on for eggs. See that tiny baby? That's one tiny baby. That's another tiny baby. <gasps> Yay! Hi, baby! Hi! You scared? Oh! You're naughty, you scared the baby away. Naughty. <laughs> and you don't, you don't get to lead the pack here. That's not how this works. No. Like, I'm going to make Brian take care of you because you're hurting my hand. Well, will you please? She's hurting my hand with all this pulling. Let's see if we can get her. <laughs> She's a wild woman. Come on. Back here. <laughs> Too bad this tree is so messy because it really is pretty. Thank you. No, those are pretty blossoms. And then it's like, look how much shit it's planted. All those little blossoms are gorgeous. Yeah, if you want some, I'll bet they wouldn't mind if we dug I up know. a few of these. Right? Want a couple of these trees? Not have to worry about anything underneath it ever. Beautiful day for a walk. With your bare feet says out here. No, something's stabbing me in the bottom of my bare feet. <laughs> it's called the ground. And the sidewalk. Sharp. Well, you want to wipe your foot? No, it's okay. You'll take it. It's embedding itself. It's okay. <laughs> It'll come out in a few weeks when my skin grows. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> we all make our choices. <laughs> I'm being attacked by branches, Brian. Save me. I can't. All I did was kick it and it, it kicked me back. Look how pretty this tree is. Do you see this? It's got the little red, uh, like it's some kind of variety of maple maybe or something. No. Look how pretty. Are those flowers? Oh, they're so pretty. N little birdies. It is International Beaver Day. So Brian and I are taking the puppy out for a walk. We can see some, see if we can find some beavers. You know, because we're in the Cherry City in the Beaver State. So there. <laughs> There's a, a road junction over by that um, roadhouse place, and it's uh, the corner of uh, Fur and Bush. And my friend used to live on the corner of Fur and Bush in the Cherry City, in the Beaver State. <laughs> That's their new grass, honey. I don't think she should be walking in that. Can you it's please? New. Is it not that new? It's not new. Okay. Just, Just kind of reedy. Old. I got my rubber gloves on. I think possibly I'm spying something ahead. <laughs> Not one, not two, but three beavers that I can poke. I'll poke these beavers. I'm gonna poke them. You wanna be my cameraman? Some kind of beaver poker? I am. Watch out behind us. But you wanna be my cameraman? Yes, I can camera you. Camera me. <laughs> okay. Go on that side so you can see the beavers. <laughs> He's got a wood. <laughs> I thought about coming out and cleaning the beavers, but I thought maybe that people would get angry at me. I think this is bronze though, isn't it? I could bring the bronze cleaner out. 
Uh, I think they're probably clean enough. Those are some dirty beavers. Beavers are uh, self-cleaning, I think, from what I've been told. <laughs> As long as they don't expose themselves to something really awful, yeah, they probably are fine. <laughs> is there anything you want to say about these? Um... No, I just want to make eyes at you. Oh, well, well. I like you a lot. Let's uh, step over this way so we get you with the beavers in the background. <laughs>